Hello students, in this video I am going to discuss the program of Q and it's quite important because uh, it was already there in the IAC 2017 computer science paper. So let me read the program for you. Uh, Q is an entity which can hold a maximum of 100 integers. Remember this maximum size. The Q enables the user to add integers from the rear and remove integers from the front that is an important thing with the queue that uh, insertion and deletion uh, takes place at two different ends uh, removal from the front and addition from the uh, from the rear all right now define a class q so the class name is q with the following details so data members or instance variables are q it's an array to hold the integers elements all right so that means this array will be of type int next is size it stores the size of the array all right then uh, front to print the index of the uh, front to point the index of the front and then rear to point the index of the rear so uh, every queue will need an array because here the implementation of the queue is in the form of array and its size means how many elements are possible over there and uh, one front for the uh, removal of the data element and one rear for the addition of the data element so all these things are clear to you I hope and then we move to uh, towards the member function now so member function first one is the queue int mm is there so it's a constructor to initialize the data assignment operator num means uh, data size size num okay front zero and rear zero so here uh, usually we take front minus one and rear minus one but here in the question paper it was given front is zero and the rear is also zero all right so after that void add uh, element so add e l e is written here int v uh, that is the actually the value which will be added to the queue to add integers from the rear if possible else display the message overflow all right because uh, insertion or addition is only possible uh, when uh, there is a space in the queue that means there is no overflow after that int delete it returns elements from front if present otherwise displays the uh, message underflow and returns minus uh, 9999 okay so this is for the removal so uh, if you want to delete something from the queue that means uh, there must not be any underflow that means some elements one or more must be present in the queue then we have void display it displays the array elements now what they are asking they are saying specify the class queue giving details of only the function void add ele int is the parameter and int delete assume that the other function have been defined other functions have been defined so you need to write only add ele and uh, del ele okay after that uh, they say the main function and algorithms need not be written okay so I hope the question is clear to you now students after this I want you all to know the comments of the examiner for this question the concept of the queue was not clear to most of the students you know and common errors made by candidates were as follows the condition or logic for the underflow and overflow was not answered correctly so when I discuss the program please uh, see these areas uh, you should not be losing marks in these areas and then increment or decrement of front and rear index was not done properly uh, so uh, the methods add ELE and del ELE were found to be difficult by some of the candidates a few candidates also defined the constructor which was not required in some cases the class was not defined only the functions add ele and the delete were defined so 
so i hope this much is clear to you now the suggestion for the teachers more practice should be given uh, in data structure program like the stacks queues dqs etc working must be shown as to uh, how uh, the stack or a queue uh, performs uh, example can be supportive uh, the concept of lifo and fifo must be explained to student with the uh, lively examples related to the real world so if you remember my previous video of the queue i have already given the example from the real world okay then implementation of stack queue and dq using arrays should be emphasized only the concept has to be explained uh, taking the base as an array uh, it should be made clear to the students that it is not an array related program which can be manipulated by shifting or inserting or initializing by any uh, value since these data structures required uh, pointers and pointers are not supported in java so it's a it's an important thing please take care of these points all right now students uh, as per the question class name is q so i have written class q here then in the class first we write the data members so data members are q uh, size front and rear uh, and these are the normal requirements of any queue so here we initialize and create uh, we create the array here to store the queue element and this is going to represent the queue actually okay so int queue square bracket equal to new int square bracket 100 was the maximum size so we have uh, given size also here so array has been declared and uh, allocated uh, the the memory also we have allocated the memory also to the array now we have got a declaration for the variable size then front and rear what size will have size will uh, have the value or the size which you decide for your queue and front and rear basically tells us the uh, tells us the tells us the end of all right different ends of uh, the queue so here front is for the deletion and rear for the insertion or addition of the data element okay to the queue uh, then we have uh, a constructor here although it was not required according to the program only add d e l e and uh, del e l e were required but here purposely i have taken this uh, constructor just to make things clear uh, to you uh, so constructor is here that contains a parameter int max so max is actually the size which you will pass and uh, Uh, and that will be assigned to the size and that will actually represent the size of the queue and uh, what is unique in this program that they have given the initial value 0 for front and rear so you have to be careful uh, while writing the code for this program because generally uh, in the queue uh, constructor we have the front and rear both as minus 1 but students here they have taken initial value for front and rear as 0 so there will be some changes in the queue uh program and uh, here uh, i am just uh, showing you the add ele function so add ele function where uh, int v is being passed if rear uh, equals to if rear equals to size purposely i have written this that i have cut max because students make a very common mistake uh, that they always write max because somewhere in their mind it is there that maximum capacity is of the queue is being represented through max but no it is the uh, it is an argument uh, so it is a kind of local uh, to the function so it cannot be used outside the uh, function so here instead of max we will be using the data member uh, size which was uh, initialized with the value max so always remember students so if the rear is equal to size that means it is overflow means you cannot uh, introduce a new element uh, to this queue all right otherwise what you need to do that you will be writing q all right square bracket rear plus plus just notice this thing i have not written plus plus rear i have written q square bracket rear plus plus what happen as uh, here it actually uh, initializes uh, you know or uh, the value of v is being assigned to the rear the current value of rear for example uh, you can see here initially when the 
uh, front and rear both are zero so we have to enter data at zeroth location uh, so in that case what we need to do that we will assign uh, the value to q of zero and then i have to update the rear so that is what is happening here that first it will assign the value and then it is incremented it is post incremented that is the reason okay right and uh, this is the closing of else and then the closing of the function ele i hope everybody has the clear idea of this now students uh, we go for the second element so automatically what will happen uh, that uh, first it will be assigned to the location 1 and then it will be updated so again i am just telling you why i have taken this rear plus plus instead of taking plus plus rear similarly you can see here the triple five has been entered and so on okay one more thing i want to show you students here when i uh, write the header of the d del ele function for the deletion in the queue or deletion from the queue that students make a mistake they forget about the int return type they write the void so your program says uh, that return type is int of this function because the element which will be deleted has to be returned or whatever the value they want uh, to be returned when it is uh, when there is underflow or no element is there so there must be int instead of void all right now i'm going to uh, discuss the del ele function how to go about it now we see this uh, del ele function here and return type is int which you always keep in your mind which you need to keep in your mind always and now we have got this int d equal to 0 uh, because uh, d is the variable which will have the element uh, which is going to be deleted or if there are uh, no elements in the queue so just to represent under flow it will have minus 9999 all right as as it is given in the program so students if the front equals to minus 1 then uh, queue is empty and otherwise or operator is there front equal to 0 and uh, rear equals to 0 means front and rear both are having 0 then also it is empty or there is underflow so in that case d will be initialized or the d will be given the value minus 9999 9, 9. okay 4 times 9 is there minus 9999 9, 9, 9. now it goes to the else part if there is uh, either of these condition uh, uh, is is not true now else part first we store the data which is available at the front that means we are sure that there are elements in the queue so first whatever is available at at front that will be assigned to d okay after that now we have to update front depending upon the conditions here so if front equals to rear if the front and rear both are same okay that means only one element because this condition represents only one element is there now some students may say that you have written already front equal to zero re equal to zero so that also means one element is there but no you are wrong because when the front was equal to zero you have, i have already shown you uh, with the help of a, a diagram that when the front is zero and rear is zero at that time there was no element the moment one element is there what happens front is updated uh, rear is, is updated so those values uh, will be different uh, the moment even a single element is entered into the queue all right so when front and rear both are zero that simply means no element is there right and remember we are discussing the simple queue now here we talk about if front equal to rear then front rear will be initialized with minus one both will be having the value minus one because they do not have any index of the array uh, to point towards right now because there are no elements uh, 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 single element was there that is also gone that simply means that okay otherwise front plus plus it is a normal deletion from the queue so front will be updated by one all right after that we close else this else and then we close this outer else because here i have got the concept of nested if else uh, so here students we are going to close the outer else 
and then finally we return the data which is actually stored in d if there are no element then it will contain minus 9999 if there are uh, there is some element which is actually deleted from the queue so that is uh, already stored in d through this statement and finally we close the class so for display function uh, you can always uh, take the help of my previous uh, program of the queue so this is very important program because this is of uh, uh, isc uh, 2017 paper this is and some changes in the question also so you need to be alert when some changes are there so accordingly you have to write down the code thanks everyone